What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Dominic. Yes, D-O-M-I-N-I-C. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my highlight and contour routine during quarantine. So, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, we definitely need to prep our skin. So I'm going to take this random um, Sephora lip gloss that I had got. And we're just going to pop this on our lips because, honey, I'm not walking around outside with any chapped lips. And for that matter, since we're in quarantine, not inside either. Perfect. And then let me take off these glasses so you guys can actually see me. And then I'm going to take my Active Moist by Dermalogica. And see, I naturally have oily skin. So I find with this moisturizer, it's super lightweight. And it doesn't have any oils in it, so it doesn't make me all greasy. So then I'm gonna take my Holy Grail Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I mean for me this product is my Holy Grail. I obviously that's why I purchased the big size. Yes because we're not sponsored on this end. So everything that you see today I have paid in full with my own money and we're just gonna apply that all over. Because you gotta think of your makeup like painting. Right? And if you ask a painter when they paint, do they prime? And they're gonna most likely tell you yes. Like, you know, with a house, with a car, anything. So I just treat my face like I'm about to paint a canvas, you know? Okay, so then let me tell you, these things here called crow's feet run in my family. So I'm gonna take my um, retinol serum. So this is a brand out here in LA called QRX Labs. And I like to just take a pump of that and just dab it underneath my eye. Because you know, we're taking preventative measures. I don't wanna walk around by the time I'm 30 with wrinkles. Okay, so then a little secret. So after I have my face all primed and ready to go, I like to take these Cover FX drops um, I don't know what shade this is, but it's like a golden tone. And I like to just take a dab of this ever so lightly because it's very pigmented. And I put it right where I know I'm gonna highlight later on. It's gonna give me that glow that I'm looking for. Okay, so look. I'm gonna go off camera because this is a highlight and contour routine. So you guys don't just see me do my eyebrows. And we're back. By the way, if you want to know how I do my bold eyebrows, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so now it's time to color correct, baby, because I have this 5 o'clock shadow, and we're not doing that today. So I'm going to take my Bella Pierre color correcting palette and use my favorite shade, which is obviously orange. <laughs> and we're going to take some of that, and we're just going to apply it all over. And this is super pigmented. So you want to be light-handed. And then whatever I do to one side, obviously I'm going to do to the other. And I, don't, and I don't focus too much underneath my neck because I have this beard still, so it actually conceals my um, little double chin <laughs> that I got going on. So after I feel accomplished, I like to go in and set it. So I'm going to use my Becca Loose Powder, but I actually add it Ben Nye Banana Powder. And after I got that on, I'm gonna take a bigger fluffy brush, and then this is the Sigma F20 brush, and then we're just gonna blend this powder into the skin. And I'm pressing. You always wanna make sure you're pressing the products into your face. So for foundation, I'm gonna use Thing 1 and Thing 2, which is a Smashbox Studio Skin and 15 Hour Wear and then 24 hour wear. This is the shade 3.35, and then this is shade 3.2. So obviously I use 3.35 in the summer when I'm more tan, and then 3.2 in the winter when I'm more pale. But since we're in quarantine, guess who hasn't been getting a lot of sun? Obviously this guy here. So I'm gonna concoct the two, and then apply that all over. So I like to use maybe two to three drops of each. Yes, don't clock me, I use a lot of foundation. That's just my preference. And I like to put it on my wrist just to warm up the product. Because I feel like when the product is warm, 
It just blends into your skin more seamlessly. Then we're just gonna apply this all over. And then I'm gonna take my Dappin Beauty Blender and we're just gonna blend this all out. And I see why they named it Studio Skin because honey, this really does blend into your skin, like your skin. And then when I'm blending in my foundation, I absolutely press it into my hairline because you could clean your hairline up later, but what you can't do is walk around with a white halo. Don't forget to hit your ears and your neck because we don't want to be walking around town looking too toned. Okay, so I don't really set my foundation with any powders. I just go straight in with concealer. So for concealer, we're just going to keep on sticking with the, you know, what's good, <laughs> Smashbox. So I'm going to take the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in shade light medium, and we're just going to apply this. And like, I apply my concealer like a reverse Nike sign. So I will go down and then swoop up. Do that on the other side. We'll go down and then swoop up and take a little bit on my forehead and a little down my nose. And you want to make the line down your nose as straight as possible. And I've learned with Studio Skin, you have to work pretty fast because it does start to set. Fast. Oh my gosh, you see how it's just melting in. So once I got this pretty blended, then I'll take some and drag it down. And go a little bit lower just to blend out those edges. Then I'm gonna take the back end and just blend out that edge. I'm just gonna blend out the other side. Once I have it spread it out, I'll go down my nose, a little bit lower and higher, flip it around and blend out that edge. So for my nose, I like to go very lightly going up. And the reason why I blend it out lightly is because I want to use some of that concealer later on when I go do my contour nose job. And then when you're spreading out the forehead, you don't want to spread out too wide because then you're going to make your forehead appear larger. And I don't know about you guys, but I like a smaller forehead. Okay. We're gonna take that same loose powder from earlier and set our under eye. Make sure there are no creases. And then set. We'll just set our forehead. And I'm not gonna set my nose yet because I'm still gonna go in and contour. I normally use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in shade Truffle, but let me tell you, I found this new secret weapon at Target. Jordana Sculpt and Go Contour Stick. Most concealer sticks that I use are like, you know, in the upper 30s and 40, 50 dollar ranges. This baby, baby, this right here was only seven dollars. Seven dollars? Where'd they do that at? So anyways, we're gonna go in and just put this all over. My forehead. I like to put a lot of contour on my forehead. Okay, so now when I get to my cheeks, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Come down and swoop up, and then we'll do that on the other side. Top of the ear, come down and swoop up. And so I like to swoop up because we're creating a higher cheekbone. I don't really like to drag it down. It's just not my thing. And to blend this out, I like to take my Luxie 532 brush and it's a round top blender. And we're just gonna blend, start blending this out. See how it just blends? I find that when I blend up, it just gives me a better look. Then we'll blend out the other side. I always push your product into the hairline. Okay, so for your nose, you're gonna wanna draw a little line going from the top of your eyebrow coming down, like so. And then we're going to go in and draw another line going up. Like so. 
By the way, this is the F75 brush from Sigma. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Little line going down, and then we're gonna go up. I find that when I'm drawing my lines, I tend to go up because I find that I get a better straighter line. And then we're gonna take a little bit and contour underneath just to move my nose tip higher. And shadow our nostrils. So to blend this out, I like to use my Sigma E50 brush. And again, I like to blend going up. I find that when I go up, things just blend out better. And then when you're blending out your nose, it's okay to have a little bit of a harsh line. Not like, oh my God, super prominent harsh, but you want it to be visible. Okay, so once we have our contour all blended out, we're gonna go in and start baking some things. So to set my contour, we're gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So I actually customized my palette to fit my skin tone, and I'm gonna go in with the two darker shades. I'm gonna take my Sigma F10 brush, and we're just gonna dip into those two shades and set our contour. And when you're setting your contour, make sure you're going in a circular motion. We are set. And then I'm gonna use that same large fluffy brush that I used on my nose to blend out my contour and go in with the lighter shade and then blend out the powder. So before I bake, if I find that I have too harsh of a line between my contour and my highlight, I'll go in with a blank large, your largest fluffy brush. This is actually the Sigma F20 brush. And just start blurring those two lines in together. So this is a trick that I learned time and time again. Okay. Then it was time to bake. This is probably one of my favorite parts of makeup, honestly. Baking just gives you that chisel, the set, like I can't even explain it. So we're gonna go in our loose powder and this time I'm using the Sigma Beauty Blender because it has a flat edge. And we're gonna go right underneath our cheek and just cut that cheek. like so. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And just cut that cheekbone. Okay, so for my nose, I like a super pinched nose. So we're gonna go in very close, up against the contour line, and then just drag it out and set that under eye. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're gonna go in super close, because you want a pinched nose, and then just set that under eye. And now we're baking. So I like to bake for about five minutes, 10 minutes if I'm gonna go to an event. Okay, so now we're gonna just go in and dust everything off with our large fluffy brush. Okay, so look, we need a drum roll. Because baby, we look good, and now we just need to set everything in place, you know, get all those powders pushed into the skin. So I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just drown myself. Whew. And we're just gonna fan, fan away. And that's how we do our highlight and contour routine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I mean, go hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications because you don't want to miss the next time I'm here. Okay, until next time.